somebody who was at that White House roundtable today, CEO of the American Jewish Committee and former Congressman Ted Deutsch. Congressman Deutsch, thank you for being on with us. Thanks for having me. Take us inside the meeting. How'd it go? It was a really powerful acknowledgement by the second gentleman, but really by the White House and this administration, that this is a really challenging moment for the Jewish community, that these these anti-Semitic uh, statements that appear over and over online by social media figures that who praise Hitler and Nazis and deny the Holocaust, that they pose a real threat to the community and that we need to do something about it. That was the takeaway from today. Yeah. It was very powerful to hear that coming uh, in the White House and from the White House. You mentioned some of these influencers, people who are openly saying things like, I like it. I mean, just disgusting, awful, terrible anti-Semitic things. Horrific. Um, did that come up at the meeting behind closed doors? Well, specifically it, it, Kanye West, Nick Fuentes, like put put names yeah. to the people who are saying this terrible stuff, these anti-Semites who are I, awful. I don't, and and you can also not put names to them. I get it. Oh, no, but no. that's sort of the moment that we're in right it, now. It, well, it is. It is. But this isn't this isn't just a moment about Kanye or Nick Fuentes or other anti-Semites and Holocaust deniers. This is something that's been happening in the community that the Jewish community has felt and for years and has been and has been raising building over and, and over. Right, right. What they've done is they, they've done two things. One, they brought it front and center so everyone can see how terrible it is and how much is at risk to society as a whole. And two, they, uh, they've allowed the anti-Semites to climb out from under rocks. They're trying to normalize it. And what happened today at the White House was that the, the administration led by President Biden said, no, we're not going to do it. That's what's so critically important as we go forward. The administration led by President Biden, but the face of it today was the second gentleman, somebody who we yeah. don't see in these moments um, talking about public policy in this way that often. And it was striking, I think, to a lot of people how clearly, deeply personal this is for him and for so many people. Really personal for the second gentleman. And when he talked about it, and you played some of this, he acknowledged how hard it is and how, how challenging this moment is. He also talked about how he's going to continue to be a, a proud and open Jew. That statement coming from someone in his position, that sends a really strong message to the community as a whole. And going forward, the ability for us to work together to create a national action plan with interagency cl uh, collaboration, the kind of thing that a hundred, more than a hundred of my former colleagues in, in the House and, and our Senate friends have sent in a letter to the administration, uh, the commitment by President Biden to, to stand with Deborah Lipstadt when she became the ambassador, the special envoy to combat anti-Semitism. Now we need that focus on the domestic level. And today was the first step. And having the second gentleman lead that really is important. So then talk about the second step, the third step. What else do you want yeah. to see done right beyond what we're doing, I think, here in this moment, which is talking about it, calling it out, making it helping people understand how dangerous this is. What else can Congress, the White House, do? Yeah, calling it out, let's be clear, that's critically important. Every single time it happens, no matter whether it's on the left or right, we have to call it out. But we need a national plan. We need a national action plan. And AJC has been involved in contributing to and shaping national action plans in countries around the world where they've faced this issue already. Now it's happening here. We need to take action work with Jewish groups, working with the administration to establish a way for everyone to work together from the Justice Department and FBI yeah. to Homeland Security to keep the community safe because the entire society, our whole society is at risk if we don't. And it's got to be people working together, collaborating to fight this. Congressman Deutsch, thank yes. you for being on the show and Thanks for giving us some much, insight Holly. into that important moment. Appreciate it.